What you guys got another video here for you. Now if you're looking for an alternative to Windows uh, 10 then looking at Peppermint Linux uh, the Peppermint OS 8 is their new version. This is a really good alternative to Windows 10 if you want to get into another operating system but you don't want to spend any more money then uh, Peppermint uh, OS 8 is a pretty good choice. As you can see here, I've booted up to my USB flash drive, which I've created. If you want to see a video on that, then let me know in the comments section below, and I will make that video to show you how to create your own bootable flash drive with Peppermint OS 8. So once you've got this done, what you need to do here is you can either go to Try Peppermint OS Live, and you can then go from there, or you can go to Install a Peppermint OS straight from here. So it just depends on what you want to do. So for instance, let me go into the Try Peppermint OS Live first and I'll show you from there. So we're just going to let this load in. And this is basically a, like a live environment, a live CD. So you can still install uh, a later on if you want to from this uh, environment. And there we are. That's where we're at right now. So from here, if you wanted to have a little look before you installed, you can check it out. So if you want to install after you like the look of it and you want to go ahead and install it then you can click on the install peppermint 8 and this is what I advise you to do have a good little look around and see and and see what you think of it and get the uh, feel of it okay so what we're going to do here is click on the install peppermint 8 and it will give you the installational uh, process here where we can select our language so Depending on what language you are, you can click on here and then you can go continue. It's advisable to download all the updates uh, whilst installing Peppermint and to install third party software and graphics and Wi Fi hardware. This is if you've got Nvidia and stuff like that, you may want to uh, click on this and install it. So, we're going to go continue here. So from here, you can actually go into something else here and create and resize your own partitions yourself and add in your own swap file and all that sort of information if you want to. If you want to go down this route here, you would click this uh, radio button on something else here. If you want to just erase the disk and install Peppermint, and uh, this will delete all the programs, documents, photos, music, and, and so on, and Windows operating system, you can click this one. So what we're going to do here is just leave it on this one and go install now. Now you can, as I said, go to the something else if you want to do all that yourself. If you're a little bit more experienced, you can go into there. So I'm going to go install now. And you can see here, it's given us some information. It's automatically created uh, the ext4 and the swap file right there for us. So what we're going to do is go continue. Choose your location. Mine is London. I'm going to go continue. English UK is fine by me. Go continue. Now you need to give your name up here. So we're just going to do this. And of course you can put your password in here. So we're going to put a password in. just going to put something short in here for now. Now we've got the choice here to require my password to log in. This is what I'd advise you to leave it as and you can also encrypt your my home folder if you want to but I'm just going to leave it as this. If you just want to log straight in without typing your password which I wouldn't recommend you would obviously put it into this one here. So I'm just going to go continue and then this will start to copy all the files across and start to install them. So we're just going to let this do its thing and then we'll come back uh, when this is complete. So let's go ahead now and this will start to install uh, the system files that's needed. Okay, so that's the uh, installation now complete. So we're just going to restart now. So what we need to do now is log in to our account. Okay, so uh, this is the installation complete. As you can see, we have our menu just like you would with Windows. Plenty of uh, apps all pre-installed. 
as you can see here all your usual apps what a lot of people would use are generally installed already here so you have all your equalizer firewall VLC and uh, as you can see graphics settings so you've got all your usual stuff now also really important here is you've got your peppermint settings panel you can do panel preferences here also your wallpapers you can change them up if you want to very easy to do uh, you've got your peppermint control center and you can see that transparent look there it looks quite nice so you can customize everything you want here you've got your tweaks uh, your hardware and of course your network and your system and you've got your update manager here this is going to give you uh, some information about updates and uh, synaptic package manager you will have to go in with your password here and of course uh, software manager this is going to give you access to other software if you want to download other software on here you can do it uh, via this method here very easy to do and that'll take a bit of time to populate once that's populated there you go uh, you'll get some access to these areas here so you can go into all packages here if you wanted to and it give you a ranking here and it gives you a load of uh, apps that you can actually install here so if you are looking for a Windows 10 alternative and uh, you don't want to pay any money and you want to give Linux a go then you don't need a really super high powerful machine to run it you can get yourself a cheap old machine and run uh, Peppermint OS 8 it wouldn't be an issue at all and if you've even got a modern day computer it'll still run Peppermint OS 8 uh, as well anyway I'm going to wrap this one up I hope this one helps you out guys my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you want to see more of this sort of content then let me know in the comments section and I'll do my best to make a sort of mini series on uh, things that you want to uh, know about anyway thanks again for watching thanks for your continued support bye for now Thank you.